Hey, my name is Chris and I'm in St. Bernard playing the eight hole course. Uh, it turns out it's actually only a five hole course. So holes one and two are supposed to be back there. There's construction back there though that you can kind of see under the awning and that huge fence. That's where holes one and two should have been. They're not though. Hole three, the basket is up here over there ish on that hill Let's see if i can zoom in no okay so hole three is up there you throw from the corner of the school over to three and then from that basket on three just a short little hook to four four you're supposed to throw down here to five that basket's gone i slipped right here that's a big mud hole for me so five is gone and then from five you throw to six which is back here between these trees for seven, you throw from behind that basket over the jungle gym. That would be terrible if there were kids here and it was warm. Seven basket is over here in front of those steps. So if you overthrow it or throw it too hard, you could hit that house. Terrifying. And then you turn from seven and you throw along under the power lines. Woof. Terrifying in itself to eight, which the basket is right here. So. It's a real simple course. I thought I would try this out. I'm using new tech, new tech right now to show you the full course or the full course. Five holes, St. Bernard. I mean, it's good putting practice. Uh, it was more just um, terrifying trying not to slip on the hills, which I did. So my brand new flannel line jeans because no, it's currently like 28 degrees outside. Uh, my new flannel jeans, the butt is covered in freaking mud and I am trying not to be upset about it because I got out and finally got to disc a little bit after coming home from vacation. So there's the course. I did get a pretty picture of one of the baskets in front of the church. So I like that. Um, it's not all about playing an immaculate course. Sometimes it's just about finding fun where you can find it. So there's a field. I'm standing in a baseball field right now if you didn't notice. There's the diamond. So you could come here and really practice everything of your game. You could practice the putts in your short game on the holes and then practice your field game thrown from the fence out into the field. So do a little bit of everything, but it is really not a great course. And I see why it only has a star and a half on the UDisc app. I used a new method of scoring. They have map scoring now, so you can see exactly where you threw and you can mark it and it'll keep tally of your score that way, uh, which is, I think a really great step for you disc because you can use then that map to see how you're throwing and how you're actually doing compared to I got a birdie but if you go way outside of the fairway to get that birdie then did you really get a birdie so um, using Mac my score was pretty cool I'm gonna hashtag it I'm gonna post it I'm gonna at you disc app so they see it and uh, that'll be that but that's this video let me know if you like this new technology that I'm using, and I will catch you guys on the flippity flop. It's a great day for disking. Have a great round when you get out there. Great round when you get out there. Great round. See ya.